How much further do you think? A couple of hours. Just you close your eyes, I'll wake you up when we get there. No, no, I'll stay up and keep you company. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna call Mom and see how the boys are doing. Great. Of course, battery's dead. Don't see that thing. Watch out! She's not here. You think she might have freaked out and ran? Well, actually, she was more worried about us than herself. I, God, I just hope she doesn't try anything. Crazy. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, I was just talking to your father. Um, well, your dad's inside, so you might want to make yourself scarce, okay? Well, I just came to tell you that Jesse said he wanted to see you down in the holding cells, something about making room. All right, thanks. Well, there's a break room around the corner if you'd like some coffee or donuts or anything. Thank you. Prison? I expect you to let your lawyer do all of your talking, cut the best deal that she can, and you're going to leave the Hubbards out of this. Or what? Or, so help me God, I will take everything that I know about you, a lifetime of dirty deals, and expose them to the world. So this is a negotiation? No. It's an ultimatum. Listen, listen to it, all right? It was a freak accident. Okay, why am I feeling so guilty here? I don't know. Honestly, out of seat. One thing I'm sure of is Willis's death was in no way your fault. Uh, yesterday, I show him pictures of him having sex with the judge. Today, he's dead. You're going to tell me what that's just a coincidence? I, I'm not sure. Look, I'll give you this much. Maybe what he'd done was, was eating at him. He got distracted while he was driving, and, and, and he went off the road. What are you telling me that? Me shoving pictures in his face had absolutely nothing to do with it. Yes. You're not responsible for another man's guilty conscience. Not my conscience. Dad, I, I was seriously considering using those pictures to leverage my career. You didn't. You did the right thing, remember? Lassa Colby. Yes. All right. Uh, thank you. Well, don't just sit there and leave me in the dark. What's going on? What fresh hell is this? That was the mayor, and he wants me to run for DA. Are you sure these are Santa's favorite kind of cookies? Yes, I'm absolutely positive they are, as a matter of fact. Really? They're your favorite, too, <laughs> Daddy. Amazing, right? Oh. Hey, is Zach and Kendall there yet? Uh, no, not yet. How's Emma? She's amazing, having a little daddy-daughter time waiting for Santa to show up. By the way, she loves the Dora Link doll you got her. Oh, I'm so glad. I do wish you were here. I am. Well, Merry Christmas, Ryan. To you, too. What is it? I just can't shake this feeling. I'm sorry. Is that them you were talking to? No. I think that uh, the battery in their phone must have died and they're probably in the mountains or something and then and then that's a dead zone a dead don't say that word please 
Look, Opal, if it makes you feel any better, I I'll call the Highway Patrol. I'll have them, you know, watch out for them. Would you? Would you? Because I'm afraid if I did it, I just wouldn't be able to keep myself from sounding like a crazy woman. They'd probably send a car over here to pick me up. No, I I I'll do it now. Good. Good, because, you know, uh, when I went up to get my jacket, I caught a minute of the news on TV and uh, that storm in Ohio. It's a doozy. Well, the road is deserted, and without chains, we're not coming out of this ditch. No, at least we're not hurt. Thank God for that. <sighs> Zach, it, I mean, Christmas Eve is almost over. I mean, we're never going to make it home in time now. We'll just see it through till morning. And then what? And then we're going to flag somebody down. On Christmas Day? Who's going to be out driving? Snow plows, hopefully. Okay. So, what do we do now? Try to stay warm. Come on, we'll figure something. This is good. Hey, tell me, tell me a Christmas story. Okay. Yeah. There once was a beautiful princess who wanted nothing more for Christmas than to be with her boys. Well, she saw another woman in need, and she decided to give that woman the only car that was left that had four-wheel drive. Hmm. Did the princess make it back in time to see her boys for Christmas? Yes, she did. Best Christmas ever. Close your eyes.